Let's go back to the phone lines. We'll talk next to Aaron. He's listening in Antioch, California. Hi. Hello, Hank. Uh, thank you for your ministry and, and for, for everything that, that you guys do there. It's it's such an encouragement to me, I know, for a whole lot of people. So, so thank you. Well, my uh, pleasure. My, my question is, uh, after, after the resurrection, um, when Mary encounters Jesus, uh, in their encounter there, Jesus says to her, uh, don't, don't cling to me yet, or so, uh, along those lines, something like that, right? Don't, don't cling to me yet. I haven't ascended to the Father. And I was just, I, I, was, I can't understand what, what does he mean by that? Well, the one thing he can't mean is that it was prohibited to touch his resurrected body because obviously he asked Thomas, you know, touch me and see if it is really me in the flesh. And that's really in the same context. So what Christ is instructing Mary to understand is that he is not going to continue in the same relationship with her as she was used to before. He was not going to remain with her. That was past. But Jesus was pressing on. He was going to ascend to the Father. That's why we say in the creeds, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again from there to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. So this is not a prohibition of touching the post-resurrected Christ, but it is instructing Mary that the relationship has changed, that he is going to be ascending to the Father. So there's a very dear and precious aspect to what Jesus is saying to Mary when you see it in that light. 